now it's time to implement from for our first type. Uh, we, um, we're going to imagine, I actually have two examples, and I think uh, this one example will uh, probably take up at least five minutes, so it might be the full content of the video, but we'll see. So we imagine we are, uh, we have a city, city struct. Uh, you can say we want to print it. And it has a, uh, a name and a population, and populations can't be negative, so U32 is a good idea. And then we're going to implement it and make this, uh, this new function. And this will just be, uh, so we put in a struster, and uh, let's see, what are we calling it? Name is stir. The name and the population is going to be a U32, and it's going to return a self, which is a city. And inside there, we build this uh, this self, and we say name, um, name to string. And then you remember that uh, if it's exactly just the same uh, same name, we don't have to say population population we can just say population. So that will build us a new city if we give it uh, a name and a number. And then down here, uh, we derive debug for another struct, and this is going to be a country. Country. And uh, our cities are going to go inside here, and cities will be a vec of cities. So vec of city. And then, uh, this is where we start to implement from. So let's see, actually we need to, uh, where is from again? The standard convert from. So let's uh, bring it in here. Use standard convert from. And now we are going to implement uh, from. So what we want to do here is we want to be able to, uh, to take a vec and then we want like a, a country, from and then uh, a vec of cities and so, so we want to be able to you know use this uh, this cool from uh, notation so it'll look like this uh, so from and you have to say you know what kind of uh, what kind of type you're going to take it from so it's going to be a vec of cities uh, for country and then uh, inside there uh, you know the only thing you have to do with from is uh, is have this uh, this from function, and then uh, you uh, take the thing take the thing you put in by value. So it's not a reference. You put the whole thing in there. It takes ownership, and it returns a self, which is going to be a country, and uh, we will just say self, <clears throat> and inside that will be uh, cities because uh, you know cities is a vec of cities. So all we have to do is write cities, and that is. Uh, we have already imp implemented from, so that was uh, that was pretty easy. And then we go to uh, we'll also implement country, and we would like to uh, print cities because uh, country here is a collection. It's a vec of cities, and we want to look at them. So we'll uh, take a reference to self, and then for city in uh, let's see self dot cities, and then we will say print line something something has a population of something and then city dot name city dot population and then down here in main we are going to uh, make some cities so we'll start with uh, Helsinki and that's the capital of Finland and we will say uh, let's say city new and what's its population I'm going to copy and paste this in there we go. Helsinki is a city. New, this is our new function. We just give it a uh, name and a population. And then Turku is also a city in Finland. And uh, we say Turku. And uh, 186,756 people live in Turku. And now we are going to take these and, and uh, actually first we'll, uh, we'll make the VEC. So Finland cities are going to be a vec because we need a vec to uh, to use from to uh, to make it into a city into a country, and uh, Helsinki Turku that's the name of the variables, 
And then finally, we are going to put together Finland, which we can do very easily by saying country from Finland cities. And that will take everything in this vec, take it by, uh, by value and turn it into a city, into a country. And then finally, uh, country has this, uh, this print cities function. So all we have to do is uh, finland.printcities and we can see the information on the cities inside. And there it is. So we have created a, um, a, a country from, uh, from a VEC of cities, which is exactly what we wanted to do. And it gives us th this, nice, um, this nice syntax here. We can make a country super easily. And uh, so you can see, you know, it's uh, it's less uh, probably less intimidating, less scary than you might have thought. Uh, implementing this uh, this from, all you have to say is from. What do you want it to come from? What do you want it to be? And you implement this uh, this from function. You put something in. You take it by value, and uh, you return a self with uh, you know whatever it needs to be inside self. It's you know it's up to you depending on how you how you make your you know, make your struct. You can have uh, I don't hit date founded or whatever and uh, that'll be like a u32 or an i32 and then you would put inside here but it's really just uh, just making a, a new uh, a new type from uh, from another type and it's uh, super easy to do